Hello. Um, I'm going to talk today about uh, your stanchion. If you, of course, it would be put together. This is uh, one that I'm still in the process of, of putting together. Uh, but if your star, say it gets worn out or broken, and or maybe you just don't even like the color of it and you want to change it, you need to get some like sock yarn or something, a fine yarn. It's going to go through these holes in a small um, darning needle. This is a, probably about the smallest darning needle I could find, but it has a big eye in it, so your yarn will fit in well, and it will still fit through this hole. Uh, it's important that it fits through the hole. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to start like I've already done. Do it again just so you can see. Start from the back or the bottom of your um, the top of your stanchion. And yeah, it'll be a little different to hold when you're working on it. Pull your yarn through. Leave yourself a tail because you want to tie it. See this one here has a knot? So you want to tie it. And then it's kind of good if you can drop a little glue on it or something if you want. And now come to the other side. So I start at the top. Go down to either one of the bottom ones. Or the outside ones we'll call them I guess. Stick it through. And of course, make sure your yarn isn't tangled around. Pull it taut in there while you're still holding your tail here. Don't lose your tail. Now come to the other bottom or outside hole. Come through. And you want extra yarn. You don't want to cut yourself short on yarn. Now you're going to come back through the um, hole on the this toward the center, most center, and. I sometimes do need pliers because I ain't got too good a grip anymore. Sometimes do need pliers to just help me pull it through. Make sure you don't bend your needle or stress your needle. Pull it through. Okay, so now on the front you have kind of like an A. And on the back you have like a bottom thing here. I always look at this as the bottom, that's the top while I'm working on it. This makes it easier to talk about. Now, you want to go to one side. If you look at this as though you're making a little birdhouse drawing, here's the floor of your birdhouse, and next you're going to draw one of the roof edges on the back. Okay, that's the back only. Pull through. Sorry, I'm kind of losing you on camera here. Now on the top side, go over your first bar that you've done and under the second bar that you've done. Just sort of snug it up slightly. Now stick it through the other side. So now we actually kind of could say we do have an A there if you look at it that way. Now on the back side, we're gonna <coughs> oh, excuse me. We're gonna do do a wall of the birdhouse. If you want to see, I, I'm just saying that just if it helps you remember what order to go in. Make the wall of a birdhouse on the back. So we got roof, floor, and a wall, and the opposite edges here are not done. Come back to the front to look at it. Make sure you look at both sides while you're doing this. You don't want to get messed up. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but we have, it's under, your last one is under this one and over that one. So we're going to head for this edge here, okay? and. We're not under or over anything here. We're just free here. But we're going to go under this one because that one was over. So under this one. And through your hole. And again, I usually need my little pliers to help me pull it through. Just because we've got so much yarn and needle together in my hands aren't as good as they used to be okay so now on the front we're almost done look at that getting close now let's look at the back now we want to do the other wall of our birdhouse careful always make sure you don't like go cross in the middle of the open space because that would defeat our purpose here it would make it difficult to use it okay so we're going to pull it through like we did before again my pliers through and I'm planning on putting this out here uh, for all you Etsy customers or uh, wherever you got your stanchion uh, right now 
Uh, it's You can only get it from Etsy. And I haven't quite listed it on my other site yet. Now, here's what I've been doing. So I went under this one on this side because this one here was over. So that way they're woven around. It helps keep them snug too. Now we're going to go down through that. For the last time, we're going to go to the back. Oh, look at there. I pulled it through by my hands. No pliers that time. Sometimes that happens. That's always make sure you're not. You don't want your... Don't keep pulling it if it starts wadding up like that. Don't keep pulling on it because you'll have yourself in trouble. Just stop and just gently tug it back until you get it on place. Now, you see we have our star. See how nice that looks all woven across. Now these pieces are woven. And now we're going to go to the back. And now you'll see that we have our tail that we originally left and this one. All that's left is to go here. So I'm just going to lay it down and I tie it. Just make sure I usually tie twice. You can tie three times. There have been times I've tied three times. And so as you pull the last knot in, you want to try to get it as tight as you can. Well, if you're Hercules, don't get it too tight. And trim it off with just a little bit to spare. And then, if you really want to get it right, dab you a little bit of glue right there. Okay, I'll wait until I'm done to do all that. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you.